Hello, my name's Linda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to be making this really cute box. Now, when we went to, or when I went to on stage a couple of weekends ago now, we were given little kits to make on the day and I didn't make this, although I did cut some of the items out ready and so I'm going to be making this today. And um, on the front of it, it says Happy Father's Day and we um, we had this little die, a little framelit to cut out. I'm not actually going to use Happy Father's Day because Father's Day is quite a long way off and so I'm going to change that up a little bit and um, I've actually got the stamp set which I've just lost and here it is. So I ordered this on my pre-order. If you go to on stage you get to pre-order from the new catalogue and so I ordered this one because the ladies in my card class always want to make cards for men and this is perfect for a card for, for a man and um, these are the new cling stamps um, are they called cling stamps? what are they called? yep they're called cling stamps and I'm just going to show you um, while I'm doing it how to stick your label to your rubber stamp and so I'm going to be um, just pulling one of these out and this is the ink blot let's put that to one side and then what you do you, you find your ink blot here here it is wrong way round and if you see it's got a little um, let's come down a bit come in a bit it's got little um, split on it so you can pull the back off okay and then you get your rubber stamp and you pull the back the protection paper off the back of your stamp and then you line your stamp up to the hole where your sticky bit is and then it just comes off like that and there you go done and these as we as you know these are new you may not know they've changed they've changed these so before they never used to be very sticky so um, you put you'd put your uh, backing on and it wouldn't stick to your mount very well but now they have changed them so that they are very very sticky so you put them on and they really do stick well in fact they stick so well that they're hard to get off so when you take them off you have to just peel them up carefully at the side because if, if you just pull them up quickly you could tear the foam right so I'm going to be using um, basic grey and I'm bringing in this this is the box they gave us and I need to come out a bit now this is the box they gave us to decorate um, and on the day we, we just had to we, we didn't do anything to the box but because I'm actually at home now I thought I might stamp on the box to make it um, change it up a little bit okay so I just went and got a piece of paper just to protect my table there and um, as I've not tried this before let's see what it looks like excellent okay and so we're going to be putting um, decoration on the front of the box so I'm just literally going to just stamp around the edges and um, obviously I've not done this before I don't have one of these boxes so I've not been able to try it out but why not why not give it a go Okay, so I've stamped all that up and now I'm going to be putting putting this bit together. So this is what we were given. We were given a little um, piece of the designer series paper. How cute is that? It's really lovely. I've actually got some of the paper as well. I've ordered some of that. We were given a little strip of this. Um, it's like a crush curry and it, again it's a de designer series paper and they come in um, six by six sheets and then we um, we were able to die cut these and I've also ordered the framelits and these are the framelits aren't they great really good so um, we were able to cut that out and then as I said we had this which I'm going to change up just a tiny bit so let's start putting this together would have helped if I got my glue out ready and there was also some ribbon as well so we all got a piece of ribbon I've got this ribbon and this come this goes with the um the whole suite. The new catalogue comes out 
comes out the 3rd of January. So you, if you would like a, new, a copy of the new catalogue, you can uh, send me a message, go to my blog, send me an email, and I will send you one as soon as I've got them. But you cannot actually order until the 3rd of January, but you can certainly have a look through and decide what you would like. There's loads of stuff that you're going to want. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on here, and what I've done is I've cut out... Um, let's come back in a bit. That's better. I've cut out uh, one of the framelits here, which I'm going to put on the top there. So I'm just going to... You know, I think I'm going to use some dimensionals on that. Just bump that up a bit. And then I'm going to stick this on here. And where do I need to put the glue? Just around the edges. I should be using my fine tip here. Use my fine tip glue, really. I just love this die. Oh. Stay, stay where you are. It's so cute. Okay, and then when you cut it, it cuts the middle out. Now I'm just going to pop that in, and then what I've done. Oh, I'm making a hash of this. That's better. I've stamped out this um, You Jumpstart My Heart and I've done it in um, Poppy Parade with black and I'm just going to put that on top of there. Well, apparently I think I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that as well. Why not? As we're jump starting, we can make it pop out. We were given, um, I don't know, four or five little kits to make cards on the day but the ladies on our table we all decided that we would just get everything ready to all the stamping and cutting and then make them at home because you don't actually get that much time right and now the ribbon goes across to here so I've just stuck some tear and tape onto my ribbon and I'm just going to wrap that around my card base okay and then I'm going to put that on top of it and that'll keep it it will keep it in place you can you could put a little bit of um, glue underneath the middle but because I'm putting this sort of topper on I don't think it needs it it's going to hold it down there we go that's the front done and that would make a great card as well you could put that if you if you cut your paper a bit bigger it'd make a good card right so i'm going to bring my box back in and these boxes you can get these in the annual catalog so they're all pre-schooled and cut just ready for you to make up i've never actually made one up before i've never i haven't bought these before it was quite simple to do yeah, right, I'm just going to stick this on the front there. I should actually have done that first. I should have stuck this on the front before I started putting the box together. Just got a bit overexcited there. And that hopefully that fits perfectly because this was pre cut by stamping up, ready for us. There we go. And then you could put nice little treat in there and there we go finished and there's the there's what it should look like and that's what it does look like so i've changed it up a tiny bit but there you go why wouldn't you thanks for watching and come back because i'm going to make another one i'm going to make another one of my kits up thanks for watching bye